here is where it's been very healing for me, is to see parents and siblings as individuals who are in their own journey of growth and unfoldment. They're not there to be, meet my needs. As far as I'm concerned, mother and dad did their job when I became an adult and survived the plant, you know, grew up and survived. The problems were when I was expecting them to give me what I think a good parent or a good mom or a good dad should be giving to their kid. Or a good brother or a good sister. You know, they ought to be this for me. I don't think so. I think there's a point where we grow up and we say, no, how can I be an instrument, a vehicle of blessing to them? They're on their own journey. I don't need mom to meet my needs. I don't need dad to be some image of what I think dad ought to be. They're on their own journey. Let me be a blessing and a support to them. Let me be an instrument and avenue of love and joy and peace and giving. How many kids are still waiting for their parents to do everything for them? Grown-up kids. Well, let me be an example, a model, an instrument. Does that make sense? That freed me of a lot of stuff. I remember a teacher one time saying to me when I was sharing some of the challenges that I was having with my mother, and, and the teacher slash intuitive person said, Justin, you're here to be a teacher for your mom. After all, Jesus was a teacher for his mother. I thought, wow, yes, that makes sense. Quit expecting her to be something for me. Let me be something for her. And we can do that with friends and family and relatives. We're, life is for our growth. We can go to our living room, relax and kick back and let our hair down. But when we're with family and friends and people, we can be of service. We can be instruments of goodness, instruments of blessing. And that's when healing starts to take place. That's when we start to feel at peace with our friends and our relatives. Where they begin to see us differently, too. Can. And they start to be blessed and uplifted by our presence.